So Ezekiel says, uh, he says, I went in the heat of my spirit. Okay. And he said, and I came to the rivers of cherubim. And when I sat where they sat, I was astonished. That I sat where they sat is why God came through Jesus to sit where we sit. And what really gives a father a father's heart is because he's been a son. Mm. And every time you're talking to your son, you're talking to yourself. Wow. That's the truth. Bishop. <laughs> do, you, do you get it? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're, you're talking to yourself. So when a mother talks to a daughter, she's talking to herself. So, so as a rule, uh, mothers train their daughters and spoil their sons. Fathers train their sons and spoil their daughters. And the reason the mother is hard on the girl is because she's trying to get her ready to be her. So she trains her, okay? And the father, because he cannot relate to her, he spoils her. But he trains the boy, sit up boy, straighten up. He, he's talking to himself. He's trying to get his son tough enough to be him. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's how we love you. Let me say this because this is important. Because I sense the Holy Spirit talking yes. to you in a very personal way. A father's love toward his son is exemplified in his toughness, not his tenderness. And the reason he's tough on you is because he loves you. And the boy who doesn't have that struggles to have discipline. Mm. You have to recognize that all love is not tender. Some, some love is, is tough, but the toughness is tenderness because I don't want you to get up to my age and hurt like I hurt and go through what I went through. And so I push you to prepare you so that you'll be protected against the assaults that life will bring to you. Mm. But my daughters, oh, look at you, you're so cute. You, 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 know, you know what I'm saying? But uh, on, on the other hand, my mother's saying, get up. My wife is saying, get up. You got things to do. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you are blessed enough to have both, uh, you, you get everything. Now, sometimes the roles are different. Mm. Sometimes uh, the father is tougher on the daughter and the mother. But, but you need that balance of, mm -hmm. of two different types of love. Right. And if you don't have that, it is crippling because you only recognize one side of love's face. And you've never seen the other profile. Mm. So when somebody loves you differently, you reject it and say it's not love when it really is love. Mm. Yeah. Wow. How do we... I, it's so deep, Bishop. <laughs> I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm it's overwhelming to think about uh, just the, the beauty of God in hemming us in before and behind with, with all kinds of love, right? Because his intent, his purpose, and you bring that out in this book, is not for this life only. Mm -hmm. He's got an eternal perspective um, that tough love, tender love, it all plays a role in us having Christ formed in us. Absolutely. Because that's what brings him glory, Absolutely. is seeing his son formed in us.